Hello everybody and welcome to Matt Fry Golf. Before we get stuck into this video, I want you to go and check me out on my other social media platforms. You'll see all the links up here now. And also do subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Loads more tips and blogs and everything else coming. So go and do that for me. Right, so today we're going to be talking about the takeaway. One of the things I'm seeing from the people I teach now is um, a lot of them are starting to move the club inside when taking it away. So what I mean by that is when they take their setup, we'd have the plane of the shaft and it would run all the way up through the shaft and through our body this way. And what we see is that it's quite an armsy movement, I like to call it, that the club is dragged inside almost and behind the body here and the butt is now pointing out towards the left of the target instead of a bit more neutral as I'd like to see it. So what I'm gonna to do today is give you a tip and a little drill that you can go and practice at home or at the range to help you get a little bit more of a consistent takeaway. This is gonna stop some faults in your game. So if you do take it a little bit inside, what you tend to see is the next movement generally would be one where the club would be getting quite upright and quite vertical now. So then we'd have to try and reroute it to get back to the golf ball. So with this drill, we're going to hopefully eliminate that and give you more of a consistent golf swing and hopefully hit some better shots. So here's what you need to do. What I've got here is just a club and I've put an alignment stick in through the grip. You'll see a hole in the top of your grip. You can just jam one through there. If you've not got canes, you can actually hold another club by the shaft and just have the butt po pointing out this way and it'll do the same job. So what we're going to do, here's the drill. We're going to take our normal setup now, we're going to have another alignment cane down on the floor about three inches outside of our toes and it's going to be parallel to our ball to target line. And what we want to see is when we make the backswing, when we make the poor backswing where it's inside, we now see that that cane, like I said earlier, is pointing out to the left and the club head's got in behind me here. So what our aim for this drill is we take our setup and now we're going to make a swing and we're going to try and get the shaft and also the cane sitting on top of this other alignment stick. So what that's going to prevent is this movement inside here because they don't match up. What we want to see is when we take the club away is that they're sitting on here a little bit more. It's starting to work the upper body a little bit more and also the hips are going to have to work instead of the arms just dragging the club on the inside. So once you've done a few of these guys, just rehearse them, get the club sitting on top there, have a feel of it, see what it looks like. What you then want to do, if you're going to hit some shots, switch to just a normal club with nothing inside it, make the same setup, have a rehearsal, sit it on top here, we're only going to be making small swings, make a small swing and hit through. So there we can see straight down the line that the club was sitting more on top of this cane and getting away from being stuck inside and me having to reroute the club back towards impact. Guys, it's a very simple drill and hopefully it can lead to you having the club taken away on a more consistent path. Do check it out, let me know how it goes. And also remember guys, do subscribe to the channel for loads more tips and if there's anything that you want help with in your game, let me know and we can get a video done for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.